Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. So today I am totally pumped. Super pumped. So, so, so pumped. So Makeup Geek has come out with some more lovely products and I had to jump all over those like a duck on a June bug. So yeah, I'm totally excited. So I got the box yesterday and I felt like Christmas arrived because anytime I get a box from Makeup Geek, I feel like Christmas has arrived. So she's come out with some new products and totally, totally excited about all of them. So I'm going to give you a quick snapshot of what I received in my box. And it's going to go right here. One of the things that I love about Makeup Geek is they will do handwritten cards. I think that is so amazing. The handwritten cards, thank you letters, thank you notes, just handwritten anything is a lost art. So I love that it says Amy and they spelled my name right. Marlena, whoever is working for you that handwrites these, hug them. I never have my name spelled right. Hell, my family misspells my name, for goodness sakes. So it says, Amy, thank you for choosing Makeup Geek. We appreciate your support. Enjoy your new products and have a great day. Sharon and the Makeup Geek team. Miss Sharon, I love you for taking the time to write this. I can't imagine doing that for all their orders. So Makeup Geek is one of my favorite products ever. I, you know, try to own everything that they put out because I absolutely believe in the brand. I love the products and I have to amass them all. That is my goal in life is to stay up amassing them all. And I just understand she's got 55-ish or 50-plus-ish eyeshadows coming out. So I think my, my bank account just uh, choked when I said that because my bank account knows I just hand over money to Makeup Geek. Anyways, all joking aside, totally thrilled she got into false eyelashes. So you saw that in the box that I received. So there's definitely different types of eyelashes. I have on a pair today and they are called Charmer. So totally excited. So these are Charmer. We have Fearless. I almost wore Fearless today. I like how thick they are. Um, Charmer is kind of wispy and I like that. Mischievous is kind of more, I think, for a cat eye. I haven't figured out which eye look that I want to do with that. Then we have Elegant. And Elegant just looks yummy. I think these might be the next ones I try. And then I really like Graceful. I think Graceful is probably for everyday use if this one isn't. So they're on a plastic band. Let's talk about their lip glazes. So the lip glazes she has, it is a three pack. So I chose this one today. I did put on a lip liner, but this is really what it looks like just on my natural lip. So the lip glazes she said is not sticky. And I would agree with her statement on not sticky. They've got a great doe foot on them, which I love. And so, yeah, it's, it's really like a lip, kind of like a, a lip gloss, but without it feeling like it's going to fall off your face or your lips or down your face. You know what I'm saying? These things smell amazing. So the first color I swatched right here is called Pink Bubbly. The second color I swatched here, which I mentioned I have on, is Cream Sickle Delight. And again, they smell amazing. So I don't like lip glosses. Um, I think these are going to be great for me during this winter. And I really like this dark color here. So very, very pretty. I think there's a color in the box for everyone. Now let's talk about her new palette called Stroke of Midnight. Oh, I want to call it Stroke of Genius. This palette is absolutely beautiful. So today I used several of the colors. I used the top row here and I used the bottom row here. So you're going to be able to see how I created this eye look in a little bit. What I love about this palette is I've seen this color in several palettes. Not a shimmer, but I just couldn't figure out how to use it. And so they paired it right next to a darker green. Loved it. I will say there was fallout on this one 
and this one a little bit more than I'm used to with Makeup Geek. These things are pigmented. Holy crud. This one, when I first put it on, I was like, whoa, kapow. Like, what I love about Makeup Geek is the pigments are fantastic. They blend well, even though I wasn't ready for all that pigmentation on that color. It just, it, it blended out really nice. I just freaking love the, the formulas. They're amazing. So what else was I going to say? Oh, I have a Too Faced palette that I just got for the holidays. It has this green in there and I try to put it on at, you know, on my eyes and like the dark green disappeared on the Too Faced palette, which was annoying because I wanted it like this. So I was a little bit worried, which I don't know why, because I know Makeup Geek never disappoints, but I was like, is this going to be kind of the same thing with Too Faced? It's really pretty in the palette, but when I go to use it, it disappears. No, like this is just gorgeous. So I really love this color. I call it apple in the, this one is actually called bubbly, but I love this, this apple tone. I think this green is fantastic or the greens in general. So again, this palette's fantastic. So I'm going to pop in another picture for look number two right now. So with look number two, using um, a lot of these and this and this is, you know, basically loved using a second look, love um, having that, you know, kind of with a Christmas-esque feel to it. So really, really thrilled about the second look created with this palette. Absolutely a fantastic palette. So totally over the top, over the moon about this palette. Really love the eyeshadows, or of course I love the eyeshadows, duh. Really love how um, the eyeshadows blended. Um, I'm, I'm liking this lip glaze. I like how sparkly and shiny it is, but I like, again, the consistent, consistency doesn't feel like it's flying off my face or melting off my face. I did use some Makeup Geek blush and the Kathleen Lights palette for my highlighter, so I went uh, with a lot more Makeup Geek on my face today than just the, the pieces I highlighted and totally thrilled about these eyelashes. So the eyelashes, which what is good is they're very reasonably priced and you're going to be able to use them multiple times. So as many times as you, you, you will be able to use them, you're going to get basically a very price conscious, um, gorgeous eyelash for really, you know, kind of nothing by the time you get all the uses out of it. So very excited about the quality of the eyelashes also. Um, what else did I want to say other than thank you, thank you, thank you, Marlena and team for once again doing a fantastic job with this product. Okay, so if you want to see how I created this greenish eye look, then you're in the right spot. Stay you tuned. You can see what I'm going to be doing with my eyes. I've used the greens in the palette and I really like it. So before I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do the greens, I want to try one of their lip glazes and it's glazes for all occasions. They should have spelled the occasions with a Z to go with the glaze, the Z and the glazes. I don't know. I'm just saying. So I think I'm going to go with the Cream Sickle Delight. I don't like lip glosses for the most part. I rarely use them. These are not supposed to be sticky, so I'm really curious about them. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a lip liner on. So bear with me, y'all. I'm going to use the Jouer Nude Lip Liner. Let's hope that works. If not, oh well, today's actually Thanksgiving. I'm just going to, my lips are going to come off when I eat anyways. Lips aligned. All right. Marlena talked a lot about these lip glazes, so I went out on a, a limb and went ahead and bought them. Plus, y'all know I've got to keep my makeup geek whole, my collection whole. Oh, they smell amazing. Like you want to lick it. You're going to want to lick it. It smells so good. And I love the doe foot applicator. So cute. It's not sticky. It's kind of a thicker consistency. So it's not like the lip glosses that feel like they're going to slide off your face. 
not just slide off your lips, but slide off your face. Okay, so far so good. Now we're gonna go through and use the greens in this palette. So this is the new Stroke of Midnight and I'm super pumped about it. We're gonna start in the middle with Magnifique. Magnifique. <laughs> and as you can see, there's some fallout on this color and a bit of this color. So that's unusual for Makeup Geek. I've not seen that as much fallout as what this one is, so I just kind of tapped it back in the pan so that I can use it. So this Magnifique color, when I was doing this eye, it was like, kapow! I was like, oh my gosh, what did I do? It goes on like, holy crud. So you've really got to be careful with that color because it's, it's pretty, it's pretty pigmented. I think the other thing I wasn't ready for is I just used a palette the, the other day or yesterday that had like no pigmentation, similar colors, but no pigmentation. And I was like, okay, I, I guess I still had the thought that I was using that other palette. Now we're going to use a more, which is that color. I'm just going to kind of layer it. These all go kind of above the crease, not kind of, they do. So I'm really liking this green. I've been dying to use, I have another palette that has a green in there like that and I've been dying to use it, just haven't done it. Don't know why, just haven't. So I think it's because it was near other colors that I just couldn't see matching with it. So what I love about Makeup Peak is by putting these together, you can capture a couple eyes, different color eyes. So I already have my um, thoughts on another eye already. All right, so this green, like I said, has some fallout. So just, you know, be careful with that. This is kind of like a, not a forest, but maybe, maybe with Christmas coming, it looks like a Christmas tree green. So I'm gonna pat that on the eye there. Now to get the light green to really kind of pop through, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out a, my crease. And I'm gonna do that with the Painterly Paint Pot. Using the other side of that brush, I'm going to pick up this color here. And um, by the way, this green here is called Masquerade that I call look like a Christmas tree. And so now we're going to pick up Bubbly. To me, this is just a really pretty kind of apple green with some shimmer in it. And I love that I don't have to wet my brush. I'm going to pick back up the and just dab a little bit into that darker green and kind of blend those two together. And grabbing that flat brush, I'm going to pick back up the color Bubbly. And that's going to go on my lower lash line. On that same flat brush, I'm going to pick up the color Masquerade. And the, a lot of these brushes that I've been using um, with the exception of that flat one, is actually from Makeup Geek also. I really like Makeup Geek brushes overall. They clean up nice, they hold their shape, they're soft, they just are awesome. I'm going to pick up this color here called Nightfall, and that's just going to go darken up right in that little corner on the very edge, outer edge of your eyelashes. This actually is a Morphe brush. So I'm going to pick up this color here called Soiree, and that's going to go lightly up underneath the eyebrows. And I like Soiree right in the corner of my eye. Okay, so that pretty much does just the eyeshadow. So now basically it's just going to be eyeliner and um, mascara. So I'm going to pick up the Marc Jacobs Black, Blacker using some scuba for my lower lash line. Today I'm using the bronze cream eyeliner from L'Oreal. Okay, I'm going to add at least a coat of the Double Decker Mascara from Butter London. Today I'm going to use the Makeup Geek Charmer eyelashes. These are with a, a invisible band. 
I'm also using a new glue, which it says it's super stronghold eyelash adhesive. It'll dry down clear. Um, it says Envy by Kiss. Okay, so basically that completes this eye look. Thank I you so you much enjoyed. for joining me today using the Makeup Geek products, especially the Stroke of Midnight palette. Really love this palette. Absolutely fantastic. The quality is off the hook. You must, must, must buy some Makeup Geek. If you haven't purchased Makeup Geek, you're really missing out on some great quality for basically a very low price. She keeps her prices very, she's very price conscious and um, the quality you get is off the hook for what you're going to pay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So let's make it a great one. Until next time.